Hey, Justin Chamness here, realestatewholesalersclub.com. And my question for you today is, how often, when was the last time you were really, truly honest with someone and gave them a real dose of truth? How often do you have the courage to actually share with other people exactly how you feel about things? Being honest and telling everyone how we exactly feel can be very, very challenging to do. However, I believe this is very essential. Here's what radical honesty means to me. Number one, telling people exactly how you feel about the situation at hand. Number two, telling other people exactly how they make you feel in the situation at hand. Why are we so afraid to tell people about our feelings? Maybe we don't want to be vulnerable, or maybe we have a lot of pride, or maybe we're just scared. How will these people react if I tell them exactly how I feel? Not sharing your feelings will accomplish one thing for sure, and that is growing resentment. Not just resentment that you'll feel, but also in the people around you when they start picking up over time that you've been dishonest about this thing all along. Giving feedback to other people is vital. Telling other people exactly how you feel about a situation is vital. And also telling other people exactly how they make you feel about the situation is vital. But this might be hard to do. These might be hard words to say, and they may hurt feelings. Sometimes the most honest advice and honest counsel we've received in our own lives, think back and remember, you've experienced this too. Sometimes the most harsh and radically honest opinions from other people have caused the greatest amounts of positive change. Now, this doesn't mean being rude or mean to somebody. Being honest will help you build their trust, and you'll avoid them being resentful of you because they know exactly where you stand. So here's your exercise. I want you to answer this for yourself. Who is the person in your life most that you're not being radically honest with? First of all, it's you. Second of all, it's probably your partner or your spouse. Thirdly, it's probably your family and friends. By failing to give these people radical honesty, are you preventing them from improving? You're certainly preventing yourself from improving, but maybe most importantly, are you over time doing the slow kill on this relationship because it's not built on trust or integrity or honesty or truth? It's built on what? Tomorrow we're going to talk about saying no, because that's equally important. RealEstateWholesalersClub.com is here to help you each and every day. We offer daily coaching. I know you'll get a lot out of it, so check us out at realestatewholesalersclub.com. I'm Coach Justin, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.